right so in this lecture or in this video of salesforce bytes we'll talk about how can you set password policies for users that register or they log in as a user for the very first time so password policies are nothing but you know a fixed set of characters that you want to use whether it should be a numeric password or an alphanumeric password uh, how many login attempts sh uh, should be provided to you what should be your session settings uh, should it expire after a specific amount of inactivity time all of this can be set in session settings and password policies now where do you do that you do that on the profile level so if i go to setup and i type in profiles here So under any profile, let's say we want to create a user for the standard platform user. So I'll just go to S and here I'll just go to the standard platform user profile. And down below, if you notice, you can just ch check that there's something that's called password policies. If I scroll right till the end, we should see something that's called password policies and session settings here, right? So session is nothing but, you know, if you want to time out or if you want to log your user out after a specific amount of inactivity, you can do that here. But we are specifically talking about password policies in this video. Let's talk about that. Let's click on edit. And let's see what options do we have here. So if I go down and I see user password expires in, which means how long do you want the user password to be? renewed or reset so you can set a timeline here the minimum is 30 days and you can keep at least one year or you can just say never expires right depending on the use case or however you want to treat your username and password login credential authentication you can set this value right the next thing is enforce password history so how many password do you want the system to be uh, to remember so that you know they cannot use the previous password uh, as the new password so you have all these options here up to 24 okay and then you have something that's called minimum password length you can keep it something like five or six or seven or eight right let me click uh, choose six and then what is the password complexity requirement so there are no there can be no restriction you can have alpha alphanumeric you can have alpha numeric and special characters and so on and so forth right the most rigid and the most complex one is it should be numbers uppercase lowercase and special characters right let's choose this right here and then there's the password there's a hint question right security question so it should not contain the password that's what this option says password question requirement it should not contain the actual password and what are the maximum invalid login attempts you can set it to five or three also or you can set it as no limit right once you reach your maximum login attempts salesforce blocks your login and your salesforce administrator has to send you a reset password link all right so that's why you set this maximum invalid login attempts so i'll set it as five lockout effective period is 15 minutes 30 minutes 60 minutes and forever so it should be must be reset by admin so if you reach a maximum impasse by logging in you can set a lock lockout effective period that means they cannot try entering a new password for the next 15 minutes 30 or 60 minutes and if you set this for forever it has to be set by the admin all right let me set this as 30 and then there are other options like require a minimum one day password lifetime don't immediately expire links in forgot password emails so we'll leave this unchecked for now and click on save so let's click on save and now let's create a new user to check how things look like when they create a password right let's go to view users and let's create a new user here so i'll call it test user one i'll just give my email id salesforce makes sense at the rate gmail.com and i'll set this as the salesforce platform standard platform user right i'll just give a dummy role for now and i'll just say generate the new password and notify the user immediately let's click on save so now the user should receive a link on their email to set their password let's see how that looks like let me click on that link So I have received the verify account email and this is my username here. Let's click on the verify account and this should take me to the password setting up screen. So I should be prompted to set my first password, right? Now, if you notice whatever, based on whatever we set as the password policies, everything is coming up here. So if you notice, it should be six characters and the complexity is here. So let's go ahead and use something. Let's try to type in Salesforce. So you see, it's accordingly checking whatever is uh, sufficed or whatever is met and then only it will let you proceed with changing the password so let's set something as s capital sales force one and then at the rate so you see everything is checked and this is what i my password could be right and then in what city are you born if i just type in a sales force one at the rate this will tell me that you cannot set this password because we set this 
So you see, it's saying that your answer cannot ma contain or match your password, which means our security question password policy is also working as expected, right? So that's how you can configure a password policy based for different profiles and different personas based on the user requirement. And this can be done on the profile level. All right. Great. Thank you.